Hey what's up guys, it's Tom Follin here and those of you who saw the question and answer video I uploaded last week will know that quite a few people were interested in how I structure my training session. Seeing as I was planning to make this video anyway, I decided I might as well just get it done now. Before I even kick a ball, I always like to do some dynamic stretching. Dynamic stretching is my favourite way to warm up as it's going to replicate the movements that you'll be performing during that session and is also great at getting blood and oxygen flow into the muscles. When I actually start to freestyle, I like to do a few kick ups and some really simple tricks just to get an initial feel for the ball. I'll then do some really short and simple combinations before progressing onto some 20 to 30 trick around the world of the world combos. For me, this is where the importance of basics really come into play because by doing these combos, it allows me to assess how I'm feeling that day and see if there are any particularly tight areas that I need to avoid aggravating during the session. If your basics are lagging and you go straight into warming up with some no-touch or tricks which require greater power or speed, you could end up ruining your session before it's even started by damaging an already slightly strained muscle that you weren't aware of. Once I'm feeling comfortable with this, I'll start implementing a variety of tricks like Abbas around the world and Suzani into those combos. And now it's time to move on to what I would consider the final part of the warm up. So at this point, I'll begin doing some simple no touch combos as well as some two rev and all two rev stuff working up to a single three rev like Palais or score a move. So to give you an idea, some final warm up combos would look a little bit like this. Now we're sufficiently warmed up, it's time to get into the fun stuff and start upping the intensity. When it comes to the main part of my session, I'll always have some idea of the direction that I want to take it in, whether it's the focus on three revs, no touch, stamina based stuff, or maybe even one specific combo that I have in mind. This period of intense focus on one to two areas of lowers will usually last around an hour. In this time, I might only land one combo which I'm happy with, or I might not actually land anything at all. But if this happens to you every now and again, then please don't worry or be disheartened because it is totally normal and necessary to progression. This part of the session is also where any combos which I'm particularly happy with will be saved to be used in future videos. Once I've landed a few combos that I'm happy with or simply don't physically have the energy to keep pushing my level, I'll begin to bring the training to an end. The way I end the training stems from a method that me and Ethan used to use where after trying stuff which is really hard for us, we'd each select some slightly easier and more varied combos that we had to complete before going in. This is actually something which I've only just started doing again with Buzz, but I really feel like pushing right until the end in this way helps increase my lactate tolerance therefore improving my stamina and resulting in longer combos. Some end of training combos might look a little bit like this.
clothes that I've set for myself are complete, it's time to end the training. I'm going to be making a lot of videos in the future on the topics of nutrition, recovery after freestyle and injury prevention. But if you enjoyed this video, please do let me know. And if your training structure is different to mine, then tell me in the comments section down below because I'd really love to hear about it. But until the next time, thanks for watching. And you better hope God will save the queen.